Hi, Jeff Cote here with uh, Ask PYS. So we've got a boater, he's got a uh, CNC uh, sailboat, and he's got three battery banks, so he's all set up. He's got battery combiners, which are, you know, could be called ACRs or VSRs. He's got switches, but you know, the problem is he, this, this boater is wanting, and his name is Graham. Graham is looking to connect or have a battery monitor tell him what is this battery capacity on his three battery banks. And he's wondering and asking, is there a way to have a single battery monitor, something like this, right? Um, and I've got two here. I've got a Xantrex Link Lite, or I've got a Victron one, right? Right. So this is a Victron battery monitor, Xantrex. There's other brands too. Um, these are two. These are common choices that we have. Can I have a, a battery monitor monitor three battery banks? Now. Most battery monitors will give you an option of measuring voltage on a secondary battery bank. Voltage, but not amps, and not basically capacity. So you're only ever able to see, and this is the key, amp hours, battery capacity, which is a percentage, volts and amps off one battery bank. And the auxiliary battery bank, you'll be able to get voltage. So if you were a boater that had, for example, and this happens, um, maybe you've got an inverter battery bank and you have a house battery bank, you'll actually need two battery monitors. And on some bigger boats, you know, some bigger boats have four battery banks and they're, we're installing literally, not engine, we normally wouldn't put a battery monitor on an engine battery because a voltage is enough. But if you wanna geek out, sure, I've seen, you know, Celine's and North Ovens where they have a battery monitor on everything. Now that's pretty uncommon and most of us are not going to do that and I haven't even done that on my own boat. But I'm always, always going to have a battery monitor on every single deep cycle battery. Because as a boater we need to know what is the depth of discharge of that battery because depth of discharge equals directly to battery life and number of cycles. And the other thing that's really important and what's great about these battery monitors is they tell you the ampacity going in and out of the battery. So you can say, you know, maybe my battery is draining minus 11 amps, or maybe I'm recharging at plus 42. You want to know, sort of like a car, the rate at which you're actually either pulling energy from your battery or actually putting back in the battery. And a shunt from a battery monitor is going to give you that ability. So basically, if you've got multiple deep cycle battery banks, you need to have multiple battery monitors. Thank you for watching this video. If you've got further questions and you're wondering about your own boat, please ask questions below or send us an email with your questions and we'll get to them hopefully as soon as possible. Also, we're trying to keep this channel ad free, so please donate on the PayPal so that we can keep doing these productions and also potentially buy one of our lovely hats on our merch store. Uh, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to our YouTube and get our weekly updates. We're posting about four videos a week right now and also, Thanks for watching.